This is the 2019 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, and as you can see, I have made it very, very dirty. That's because we've been driving around Jackson Hole, Wyoming, on and off road to test the first ever Rolls-Royce SUV. The Rolls-Royce brand is known as a vehicle for people that like to be chauffeured. They don't want to do the driving themselves. But the Cullinan is different. This is actually a family car. That's what Rolls-Royce tells us. It's a car designed for the ultra-wealthy family. And it starts with the very layout of the vehicle. This is not some tomb-like vehicle. The windows are tall and open. The visibility is absolutely fantastic from whatever seat you're sitting in. It's really a nice place to spend time, and that's not just because it's a Rolls-Royce. You can see everything. It's also a capable vehicle when you go off-road, which is something no other Rolls-Royce can say. By pressing this one button for off-road, it activates all the systems, configures the car, raises the air suspension, gets everything ready so you can do a little bit of light trail work. This car will satisfy 99.99% of off-road customers. The few that it won't will end up buying a Range Rover anyways. But if you plan on going out onto a trail to get to your nice cabin or your horse barn or whatever, the Cullinan will happily get you there. And along the way, it'll do so with a six and three quarter liter twin turbocharged V12. That is a lot for a family car. It has 563 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque. And it's absolutely effortless. For this being a nearly 6,000 pound car, you don't expect it to get up and move the way that it does. Rolls-Royce hasn't given us a zero to 60 time yet, but based on the trusty old butt dyno, I would say it's somewhere in the high four second or low five second range. Sending this thing at speed is like hitting flank on a World War II battleship. It kind of sinks back on its haunches and launches towards the horizon with nothing but a big, big boatload of torque. But it's very quiet. And when you're cruising as we are now at a comfortable 45 miles an hour, you don't really hear anything. I don't have to shout in this car. The ride is impeccable, which is what you expect of a Rolls Royce, but it's impeccable whether you're on pavement or on a rough road. And if you're on a dirt trail, sure, you hear some noise and you hear some stones and you hear some impact noises, but I've, I've driven a lot of off-road vehicles. I've never driven one that's this quiet on dirt. It makes a Range Rover seem like a Jeep Wrangler. Even though this is a big, heavy car that's not designed to handle, it does feel rather good through the corners. The steering is precise, very, very precise. It's well-weighted, and even though it's electric, and even though this is a, a big luxury SUV, it actually feels connected to the front wheel. This car doesn't roll a lot until it does. And even then, when it, when it feels like it's starting to get out of sorts, when it doesn't want to be doing the kind of handling that you're making it do, it kind of nudges you on the shoulder and says, please, sir, please slow down. And that's it. Calling a car the Rolls Royce of SUVs is a mighty claim, but the Cullinan fulfills it. This is undeniably one of the most comfortable, luxurious, and surprisingly family-friendly SUVs on the market. With prices starting at $325,000 though, it's not going to be terribly affordable. Still, if you have the money, this is a car worth checking out.